Hello my dear students, in this lecture we will see importance and syllabus of theories of failure topic. Now see, theories of failure is nothing but design for static load. Theories of failure, this topic or all the theories are used to design component whenever it is subjected to static loads. Right. Now, in this syllabus, in this theories of failure, we are going to discuss syllabus and importance. Right. Importance for different competitive exams. Now, for civil engineering, as if I consider syllabus, in syllabus, before understanding of theories of failure, we need to understand the concept of stress. We need to understand the concept of stress, which is very, very important, which is very, very important. Right. Then, on any one component, let us say, it is subjected to multi stresses, multi-dimensional stresses. Let us say, if I consider one component, it is subjected to normal stress along x-axis, sigma x as well as it is subjected to normal stress along y axis sigma y and let us say it is subjected to shear stress tau x y also it is subjected to shear stress tau x y also this is two dimensional loading this is two dimensional loading for three dimensional loading there will be more stresses right now these type of loading are called complex stresses and for these complex stresses we need to calculate maximum normal stress minimum normal stress and maximum shear stress in theories of failure topic Therefore, in the theories of failure topic only, we are, to, we are going to see complex stresses also. Complex stresses also. In complex stresses, we will see one dimensional, two dimensional, as well as three dimensional complex stresses. And we will see analytical way to find principal stresses as well as graphical way to find principal stresses that is more circle. Right. In the same topic. And after that, once we calculate maximum loading, that is maximum shear stress, and maximum normal stress and minimum normal stress once we calculate principal stresses then these principal stresses are used for design these principal stresses are used for the design for static loading and with the help of with the help of these principal stresses we are going to design the component in theories of failure now therefore third we will see theories of failure theories of failure and basically there are five theories for our syllabus. We have five theories of failure. That is Rankine theory, Prescott's theory, Saint Venance theory, Hague's theory, and distortion theory. These five theories we will see in detail. Now, each and every topic which is written in syllabus that we are going to discuss in detail. And again, we will see all previous year gate numericals, all previous year gate numericals, then IES, ESC, ESC mains numericals, ESC mains numericals and as well as some standard numericals, standard numericals that we are going to see. Means each and every variety of questions we will cover in this syllabus. Right. Now, now this is a syllabus. Now this syllabus for gate examination, if you see only this syllabus, I am discussing about only this syllabus not about entire strength of material only this concept or these these three topics from the strength of material for gate examination for civil engineering they will ask for minimum two marks to maximum four marks at least every year there will be a two mark question but i will say on an average they will ask for three to four marks definitely definitely it will ask they, are, they will ask you for two to four marks right now if I consider ESC, if I consider ESC, let us say prelim. First of all, we will discuss about prelims for the ESC. Now, from this syllabus, for ESC prelim, at least they will ask you 5 to 7 questions. 5 to 7 questions. That means, at least they will ask you 10 marks questions. 10 marks to 14 marks question. One question for 2 marks. One question for 2 marks. Therefore, from the syllab this much syllabus, at least they will ask you 10 to 40 marks questions in ESC prelims. And if you discuss about ESC mains, if you discuss about ESC mains, then in mains also, at least they will ask you one question of 10 to 20 marks. Of 10 to 20 marks. Sometimes they will ask you question of 10 marks or sometimes they will ask you question of 15 marks or 20 marks. 
spread. Now you can see the importance of this syllabus. And again, again for any subject or for further subjects which are related on the strength of material in each and every subject which are dependent on strength of material, this syllabus is required, very much required, right? And this is the most important syllabus from strength of material. And we are dealing with this much syllabus, right? Thank you, dear students. In next lecture, we will start actual syllabus.